3D Corn on the Cob I'm All Ears Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a really cute, very long stiletto nail that's got an ear of corn on it and it says I'm All Ears. As you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of any kind of cheesy pun, so this one is right up my alley. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with an overlay of an aqua color acrylic, just something, a really nice background to kind of keep in that kind of a autumn, bright blue sky sort of appearance. And so just kind of pull that up towards the back. It doesn't have to be a very thick layer. This isn't for strength or anything of that nature. It's just for color. And if you like, you can actually do this with gel polish as well. You can apply a layer of gel polish and then encase it, which is a technique I frequently forget is available to use and I'm going to be encasing this layer or encasing this nail with a layer of clear acrylic I'm sorry I can't talk this morning so just apply that this is where your strength comes in so if you were going to do this with gel polish then you would still do this layer of clear acrylic although I might do a clear builder gel instead just because sometimes the acrylic mon monomer and the tacky layer of some gel polish sort of disagree with each other so if you are going to do gel polish, I'd either cleanse it first or use some builder gel instead of acrylic to encase it. So now I'm going to be filing this nail into shape with my e-file, starting out with a fairly coarse bit just to get rid of any bulk that there might be, refine it on the sides, make sure that all of it looks very sleek and smooth. After I have done that, I'm going to switch and go over it again with a much finer bit to make sure that the surface texture is really smooth and it, it just has a... It just fixed up any last little things that I want to touch up. So I'm going to take and I'm going to start my, um, the leaves of the husk of the corn. So I have a bright green acrylic and I'm just going to apply fairly thin layers and just do a couple little leaves in the background. So you're going to do some leaves behind the ear of corn and then you're going to actually do the cob in the middle and then add a couple more on top of it. So it looks like it's sort of blanketed in the husk. So now I'm going to take some yellow and this is kind of try to find a marigold type yellow. So not a super really bright or a pastel yellow. Go for one that's a little bit on the darker side if you have it available. Obviously we only have so many colors in our kits each of us so we have to work with what we have so take a uh, yellow and do the cob right in the middle and then take a bead of mixed um, yellow and pale yellow or yellow and white or just you know lighter mix and apply that over the top you don't want to just be a solid color so mix it up a little bit add some white to it if you'd like and then take anything a toothpick or a dotting tool and dip that into some acrylic powder so that it's not going to stick and then use that to create the texture for each individual little kernel. So I just started with a couple lines going straight across and then going back and forth to sort of beat up the acrylic. It doesn't have to be anything too particular and you do have to work quickly before your acrylic sets. So don't overthink it. Just go ahead and just start kind of attacking it basically. <laughs> then take your green and add the stem of your corn. And then take a different kind of green. Use it just a few shades of green if you have that available to you. Same, like I said before, we only have so many colors in our kits. If you guys have like every color there is, I'm super jealous. And so then just add a couple more of the little husk leaves going around the ear of corn, just like so. Kind of, kind of cup them around the corn. So it looks like somebody just nonchalantly opened this one up to make sure it was ripe. And then I'm going to take, and with some green gel polish, I'm, or not gel polish, some green acrylic paint, I'm going to take and start doing some outlines of the husk itself and the leaves there. So just add a couple little outlines. You don't have to outline every single edge, but just make it so that each leaf is a little bit more defined. And then I'm going to take orange and outline my corn. So instead of doing black outlines, I went with darker shades of the same color. So for the corn, you'd either want to do orange or like a brown color it would also work. So now for your little saying, I'm going to write, I'm all ears. So I started out at the cuticle area and I wrote I'm, and whenever I do something like this, I like to choose a few different fonts just to kind of keep it, keep it interesting. If it's all the same font, you're always get bored and it's easy to read and it just is, yeah. But if you use a couple different fonts, it keeps it a little interesting and gives the whole nail a bit more movement. So I've got I'm all, and then the last thing is going to be ears. And for writing the ears, make your letters a little bit thicker. So for me, the easiest way to do that is not necessarily to use more pressure on my brush, because if you use too much pressure with your brush, your lines go haywire. But if you just use a bit more paint on your brush, that works well, or maybe a slightly thicker brush if you have one that is a similar size, but just has a few more bristles on it. So either way, a bit more paint or a, or a bit more bristles will both work, but write I'm all ears. And after you have the ears done, let that dry. 
And after that has fully dried so the black, black paint won't smear, go inside it and with a nice bright summery yellow color, I'm going to just add a very skinny little highlight to each letter with that yellow. Just to, like I said, it keeps everything interesting if you've got a couple different styles of writing and it also makes it so that the word ears is a bit highlighted so that makes the pun a bit more obvious. And I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer over the background once again after all that paint has completely dried. Just cover that. And then after that is done, you're going to want to cure it. After it's cured, apply some matte top coat over your ear of corn and you are all done. I had so much fun with this nail. I am from Wisconsin and in Wisconsin, corn fields are everywhere. And I always remember when I was young going to my grandparents' farm and I'd always walk through the corn fields and there'd be a little corn maze. Nothing is more fun to a little kid than running free through cornfield, at least in my mind. So I hope you guys like this nail as much as I do. And don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.